a very, very short update, and I want to basically keep this really quick. But finally, I have the, the, the new computer, the edit computer, the actual machine that allows me to make Unreal tutorials, 3D tutorials, and actually, you know, work without just crashing and forgetting it's a computer all the time. So this is actually was well was delivered last week, um, but the GPU uh, and motherboard were broken. Basically, the GPU had put pressure on the motherboard and bent all the pins and snapped a piece of the motherboard off and damaged the graphics card in the process. So fun. Um, so I had to send that back straight away. Uh, so I had to wait another week. So it came today. I'm in the process of installing everything. You can probably hear the fans. It's quite noisy this morning. So I can kind of expect why. Um, but yeah, it's running an RTX 3080 Ti, uh, a Ryzen, 500 and Ryzen 9 5900X. Uh, it's only got 16 gigs of RAM in that will be fixed. At some point I'll get that up to 32, or maybe four or two. Um, but yeah, I'll show you. So I can actually, actually now maybe make videos again. I'm going to show you my old computer. So let me just take on a small adventure. So, oh, here we go. So here is my old machine. I built this myself. This was uh, cost about 1,200 ish to make at the time. Obviously, you know, limited funds at the time. So it's running a 9 GTX 980 Ti. This was it had parts change over time, like the RAM's been changed. But basically, what's happening with this is the operating system had basically corrupted, the hard drives weren't working. Um, it's mostly software and hardware focused in terms of hard drives and the OS. So it wasn't actually, it's something I could have fixed, but it's also running into bottlenecks like the graphics card and the RAM was just getting to a point where it wasn't allowing me. Can I open this old case? Uh, I can open this old one. I'll show you the new computer in a second. This one I'm actually going to sell, this computer. So, oh, there we go. So this is my old machine. <laughs> Can't really get. You can see it's got dust all over the place. But uh, yeah, it's nothing overly fancy. But I built this. This was like one of my first computers I built. Uh, I'm actually need to take this out because I want to take this SSD into a new one because it's a Samsung and quite a good SSD. But everything else in here is pretty much garbage at this point. The RAM probably is okay. This is still works. Can still play games on high on this, so it wasn't actually that bad. Um, it's a six gigabytes RTX Strix 980i, so it wasn't a bad card at all. It's actually quite comparable to um, GTX 1080s that came out not long after, uh, a year or so after this one I bought. Um, but yeah, it, it's just it just started to bottleneck on me, and I was just getting frustrated with it. So let me just take you to the new machine. Now this new machine, I can't open up because I'm actually running it at the moment, installing a load of things, which is why I said earlier, you probably heard a bit of noise. Uh, let's see if I can get in this corner, because it's a, in a very awkward location. So, whoop, there we go. You can see all the clutter. So it's on the floor, I haven't got anywhere else to pull it. I can't find a desk, I haven't got a proper desk, it's all just stuff. So this is the new computer. It has less ports on the top. Oh, let's see if I can show you inside. Again, I don't want to open the sides up. I haven't even peeled the... Uh... Oh, let's peel that off. There we go. Ah, oh, that's fine. What's in the Pokemon box? Uh, that was my Mewtwo figure. I've got one of the uh, large Mewtwo statues of light-up effects. I uh, just kind of wanted it. Uh, I saw it in a toy shop and I thought, I've got to get that. I like Pokemon. So yeah, this is the 12 gigabyte not GTX... RTX, sorry. Uh, 3080 Ti by MSI. Uh, I've, th this is what would cause the issue. It's very heavy card. It's like three cards thick. So when it first came, this had bent and broke the butt motherboard. So because I hand support fitted the support bracket, so I had to fit. So when this came, I basically said, you know, pad it extra well. Um, and then before I even did anything, I opened it up while it was on its back, and put the, the uh, little support bar in there. So that little piece of metal there is actually a support bar and that should hopefully stop it breaking again. Uh, DDR4 RAM, oh god it's very bright, loads, it's about eight fans in there, uh, Ryzen and it's running I uh, Intel two gigabyte, two terabytes sorry, um, NVMe 
and it's also got my old hard drive in there uh, just for data transfer. Ugh. So yeah, hopefully now that's resolved, I can actually start making videos. Now, just bear in mind that because this has only arrived today and I've got to install everything back onto it again, and I've got also now, you know, get used to setting this up, getting used to the machine, so it might take me another few days. But yeah, finally, I can actually make videos again, hopefully, bearing as long as there's no issues with this, and so I need to test it today quite uh, strictly. Um, we have actually got an RTX 2070 Super upstairs, which is my um, other computer, which is uh, my now is my partner's computer. Uh, I haven't been able to use that one for editing though, because the way that one's set up is in a way that if I was to use that for editing on it, actually muck up um, the other things it does, mainly for the gaming for my partner. So I've never done the videos on that, even though I could have theoretically done videos on that. But whilst lockdown's happening and furlough's happening, it's just easier to keep two machines separately. And she has that machine and I have got myself a new one. It's just worked out better in the long run. Plus a 3080 is better than a 2070. If there's no bones about that. Um, whether I could have just got away with a 3080 instead of a 3080 Ti, probably could have. But for me, the extra bit of um, VRAM on the GPU was just a little bit worth it for the kind of things I need to do. Anyway, so that's just an update. Oh, my computer is telling me that Skype is enabled. Uh, if I'm not wrong, you had to use JavaScript for native UIs and committers on JavaScript. Uh, I had used JavaScript for a native UI tutorial a long time ago, yes. Um, I will return to doing that. I, JavaScript isn't something I'm uh, super comfortable with. I have touched JavaScript back a long time ago, back when I was transitioning from Flash. Um, when I was doing websites, moving all that stuff into JavaScript, and then HTML5 came around and I started to give up on JavaScript a little bit. So I'm not super familiar with JavaScript, um, but I am trying to look at that again because, you know, it still has a place. Obviously, within Spark AI, it's very useful. Um, but I am also looking to collaborate with other people who actually might know more on that, if possible, um, because I don't confess to know everything. I, well, at the moment, my focus I want to do is I want to focus on game engines, uh, 3D and VR, and the more demanding stuff that I've not been able to do because tech problems. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, like I said, sorry there was no video upload last week. I've been having this computer chaos to deal with. Plus, I've also got to get this set up. Uh, Gaming Insights called, cool. yeah, I'm going to be doing Unreal um, first and in Unity. When we get to Unity, that'll also cover some JavaScript, so that might actually be a nice little tie-in. So uh, look, at, look forward to that. Um, again, sorry for uploads this month. Chaos, work tech problems. Hopefully that's all come to an end. And you can see I'm trying to invest in um, fixing things. Check out Goddard Upcoming Engine as an awesome community. Yes, I have I keep, I have heard about Goddard a few times now. I haven't actually got one to look at it. I'm going to search for that now. Anyway, good, thank you and goodbye.